The Gohanzen, a sacred mandala inscribed by Nichiren Daishonin, stands as the supreme object of veneration in Nichiren Buddhism. This profound representation of the mystic law embodies the essence of the Lotus Sutra and serves as a beacon, illuminating the path to attaining Buddhahood for all beings. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, Nichiren Daishonin elucidates the profound significance of the Gohanzen. He writes, The Gohanzen is the highest of all Hanzens, the source of the 3,000 realms in the one life moment of Buddhahood. This single passage encapsulates the immense power and profundity of the Gohanzen, which represents the ultimate reality expounded in the Lotus Sutra. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonen, further illuminates the Gohanzen's essence, declaring, the Gohanzen is the very entity of the Buddha of the latter day of the law, Sakamuni Buddha himself. This statement underscores the Gohanzen's embodiment of the Buddha's enlightened life, making it the manifestation of the Buddha's presence in the latter day. The Gohanzen itself is a mandala, an intricate and profound visual representation of the mystic law. At its center is the sacred Dai Moku, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the essential seed of enlightenment. Surrounding this are the names of various Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, arranged in a specific configuration that symbolizes the mutually inclusive relationship among all life and phenomena. Nichiren Daishonin emphasized the Gohanzen's power to lead all beings to enlightenment, regardless of their capacity or circumstances. In his letter, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, he writes, No matter what, strive to put your faith in the Gohanzen, and attain Buddhahood in this very existence. This profound statement encapsulates the Gohanzen's ability to reveal the Buddha nature inherent within each individual, enabling them to manifest their innate enlightenment. The practice of Gangyo, the reverential chanting of the Dai Moku while facing the Gohanzen, is a central aspect of Nichiren Buddhism. This practice not only serves as a means of venerating the Gohanzen but also allows practitioners to imbibe the life-affirming energy and wisdom embodied within it. As Nichiren Daishonin stated, when one embraces and practices the mystic law, one's life is immediately brought into the ranks of the Buddhas. Moreover, the Gohanzen serves as a powerful talisman, capable of protecting and empowering its practitioners. Nichiren Daishonin declared, the Gohanzen is the embodiment of the mystic law, which not only enables all beings to attain Buddhahood but also provides the means of protecting them from all manner of harm and distress. This protective quality of the Gohanzen is particularly relevant in the turbulent times of the latter day of the law. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonin, further elucidated the Gohanzen's protective powers, stating, The Gohanzen is a great pure and inviolable sanctuary, as enduring and firm as a diamond. This metaphor highlights the Gohanzen's ability to serve as an indestructible refuge for those who embrace its teachings and practice. Throughout his writings, Nichiren Daishonin consistently emphasizes the Gohanzen's preeminent role in the attainment of Buddhahood. In his letter, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, he declares, the Gohanzen alone represents the essence of the Buddha's enlightenment the embodiment of the supreme law of Myoho Renge Kyo. This statement underscores the Gohanzen's position as the supreme object of devotion, encapsulating the very essence of the Lotus Sutra's teachings. Nichiren Daishonin's elucidation of the Gohanzen's profound significance is a testament to his unwavering commitment to the correct practice of the Lotus Sutra and his profound understanding of its teachings. The Gohanzen stands as a living embodiment of the mystic law, a beacon guiding all beings towards the attainment of Buddhahood, and a powerful talisman capable of providing protection and empowerment in the tumultuous times of the latter day of the law. Nichiren Daishonin's exposition on the Gohanzen reveals the immense depth of his understanding and reverence for the Lotus Sutra's teachings. Throughout his writings, he consistently emphasizes the Gohanzen as the supreme object of devotion, encapsulating the very essence of the Buddha's enlightenment. In his treatise, The Kaimoku Shou, Nichiren Daishonin further clarifies the Gohanzen's significance, stating, The Gohanzen is the supreme source of enlightenment for all Buddhas throughout the three existences of past, present, and future. This powerful statement underscores the Gohanzen's universal and enduring nature, 
transcending the boundaries of time and space. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonen, echoed this sentiment, declaring, the Gohanzen is the fundamental source of enlightenment for all Buddhas in the Ten Directions and Three Existences. This assertion reinforces the Gohanzen's position as the ultimate embodiment of the mystic law, serving as the wellspring of enlightenment for all beings throughout the cosmos. Nichiren Daishonin further elucidated the Gohanzen's profound significance by drawing parallels with the revered Buddhas of the past. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, he states, just as the Buddha Sakamuni attained enlightenment through the Lotus Sutra, and the Buddha Prabhutaratna likewise attained enlightenment through the Lotus Sutra, so too did I attain enlightenment through the Lotus Sutra, and the Gohanzen is the proof of that enlightenment. This powerful analogy highlights the Gohanzen's role as the embodiment of Nichiren Daishonin's own enlightenment, attained through his profound understanding and practice of the Lotus Sutra. Just as the revered Buddhas of the past attained enlightenment through the Lotus Sutra, Nichiren Daishonin's enlightenment is manifested in the form of the Gohanzen, a testament to the depth of his realization. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonin, further expounds on this analogy, stating, Just as the three Buddhas of the three existences attained enlightenment through the Lotus Sutra, so too did Nichiren Daishonin attain enlightenment through the Lotus Sutra and the Gohanzen is the proof of that enlightenment. Nichiren Daishonin's passionate advocacy for the Gohanzen was not without its challenges. He faced immense persecution and opposition from the authorities and rival Buddhist sects, who sought to suppress his teachings and the propagation of the Gohanzen. Yet, his unwavering conviction in the Gohanzen's power and significance remained unshaken. In his letter, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, Nichiren Daishonin declared, even if the entire world should become my enemy, I will never forsake the Gohanzen. This statement encapsulates his profound dedication to the Gohanzen, even in the face of overwhelming adversity and oppression. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonin, echoed this sentiment, stating, even if the entire world should turn against the Gohanzen, we must never forsake it, for it is the supreme law of Myoho Renge Kyo, the ultimate truth of the universe. Throughout his writings, Nichiren Daishonin consistently emphasizes the Gohanzen's power to lead all beings to enlightenment, regardless of their circumstances or capacity. He encourages his followers to embrace the Gohanzen wholeheartedly, declaring, no matter what, strive to put your faith in the Gohanzen, and attain Buddhahood in this very existence. Nichiren Daishonin's elucidation of the Gohanzen's profound significance stands as a testament to his unwavering commitment to the correct practice of the Lotus Sutra and his profound understanding of its teachings. The Gohanzen, as the embodiment of the mystic law, serves as a beacon, illuminating the path to enlightenment for all beings and providing a powerful talisman of protection and empowerment in the tumultuous times of the latter day of the law. Nichiren Daishonin's insights into the profound significance of the Gohanzen reveal the immense depth of his understanding and reverence for the Lotus Sutra's teachings. Throughout his writings, he consistently emphasizes the Gohanzen as the supreme object of devotion, encapsulating the very essence of the Buddha's enlightenment and the mystic law. One of the central themes in Nichiren Daishonin's expositions is the Gohanzen's ability to lead all beings to Buddhahood regardless of their capacities or circumstances. In his letter, The Kaimoku Shou, he declares, the Gohanzen is the gateway to enlightenment for all people in the latter day of the law, allowing even the dullest of beings to attain the same enlightenment as the Buddha. This profound statement underscores the Gohanzen's universal and inclusive nature, offering a path to enlightenment that is accessible to all, even those who may have previously been considered incapable of attaining such a lofty state. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonin, echoes this sentiment, stating, The Gohanzen is the great vessel that enables all beings, regardless of their capacity, to cross the ocean of birth and death and attain the shore of enlightenment. Nichiren Daishonin further emphasizes the Gohanzen's transformative power, describing it as a catalyst for the manifestation of one's innate Buddhahood. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, he writes, just as a seed contains the potential for a great plant, the Gohanzen contains the seeds of Buddhahood within it. 
through the power of the mystic law, these seeds can germinate and flourish, allowing one to manifest their inherent enlightenment. This powerful metaphor highlights the Gohanzan's ability to awaken and nurture the Buddha nature inherent within each individual, enabling them to actualize their full potential and attain the state of Buddhahood. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonin, further expounds on this concept, stating, the Gohanzan is the fertile soil in which the seeds of enlightenment can take root and blossom, allowing the inherent Buddhahood of all beings to manifest in its fullest glory. Nichiren Daishonin's elucidation of the Gohanzan's profound significance is not merely theoretical, it is rooted in his own personal experiences and realizations. In his letter, The Kanjin no Hanzen Show, he recounts, When I first beheld the Gohanzan, it was as if a brilliant light had illuminated the darkness of my life. The profound wisdom of the Lotus Sutra became clear to me, and I felt an overwhelming sense of joy and peace. This powerful testimony highlights the transformative impact the Gohanzen had on Nichiren Daishonin's own life, serving as a catalyst for his enlightenment and his unwavering dedication to propagating the Lotus Sutra's teachings. Nichiren Daishonin's disciple, Niko Shonin, further expounds on this experience, stating, Just as the moon's reflection illuminates the surface of a tranquil pond, so too did the Gohanzen illuminate the depths of Nichiren Daishonin's soul revealing the profound wisdom of the mystic law. Throughout his writings, Nichiren Daishonin consistently exhorts his followers to embrace the Gohanzen wholeheartedly, recognizing its immense power to transform their lives and guide them towards the attainment of Buddhahood. He declares, Chant Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo with your entire being, and take refuge in the Gohanzen, for it is the ultimate source of enlightenment and the embodiment of the Buddha's compassion. Nichiren Daishonin's elucidation of the Gohanzan's profound significance stands as a testament to his unwavering commitment to the correct practice of the Lotus Sutra and his profound understanding of its teachings. The Gohanzan, as the embodiment of the mystic law, serves as a beacon, illuminating the path to enlightenment for all beings, and providing a powerful talisman of protection and empowerment in the tumultuous times of the latter day of the law.